So the the next track is by Bal- Balaji, who uh, is an African singer I heard on the World Service. Um, Mark Mark Coles is doing the Strand occasionally. I think he's got a, got a sort of summer job, uh, filling in for people who are on holiday, and um, he's mixing in as much music as as he can. And uh, I've, I've I've said before that I, th- I think. The World Service ought to play full tracks. I don't, I don't know why it is that they... Well, it, it might be a licensing um, reason. Uh, it's, a, it's a pity Chris isn't here, because he advises me how to, how to say this. Uh, J, JD, maybe, maybe you, you've got a, an opinion on this. The, the, do, do you think it co- would cost a lot of money for the, for the BBC to play complete tracks on, on the World Service? Play complete what, tracks. What, what I'm getting at, if you listen right. to them, if they do a review, yes. um, they very often play about 15 seconds of something. Well, it's a copyright, isn't it, I suppose? They don't want to pay the whole copyright. Well, as a, as a UK taxpayer, mm-hmm. bearing in mind it's not the Foreign Office, I think it's already started, it's not the Foreign Office paying for the World Service, it's, mm. it's us British people. Yes. And we know there are people outside the UK who are listening, mm. yep. but we listen as well. Mm-hmm. Would you like to hear complete tracks? It would be nice, but it would, then you'll go. Up, I suppose the World Service is trying to be something different to Radio One or Radio Two. Well, playing the whole the whole song. But it doesn't. Does, so it has to be like Radio Four and not play a lot of music. So what? What are you listening to? Are you listening to a sort of program talking about a particular piece of work? Or yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I very often wake up in the night and mm. I find that I will go back to sleep. Um, well, when Farming Today comes on, actually, I, I normally fall back to sleep. But um, <laughs> Is that a, a compromise <laughs> of the programme or what? <laughs> well, uh, I, I, it, it's a very good programme, but yep. I, it's a very reliable programme. Right. And I sort of think by then, well, that, that's all right, the world is normal. Mm. Uh, farming Today has come on. Right. But um, if I hear The Strand, right. you hear a little bit of a, a track. Right. And you think that's nice, and then it stops. Right. And they go on commenting about it, which is all very good. I mean, right. Mark Cole or whoever it is, right. they talk very well about it, right. and they've chosen a good track. Yeah. But um, they never play a complete track. And the, the world of music that he used to do for an hour, mm-hmm. um, that, that's, that's stopped altogether. Mm-hmm. Um, Dave Lee Travis was on the Today Show, mm-hmm. the Today programme. Um, talking about, well, you know, how wonderful the World Service is and how much mm. it's appreciated and so forth. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, I don't think he's broadcast a, a, a complete hour of music on the World Service right. in quite a long time. Right. Well, it could be, it could be a new policy, which they've just, they're just going to do these sort of programmes where they introduce you to Something. the sounds or the whatever, yeah. and they play a little bit, and most of it has to be talk. We have to look up their policy. Oh, right. All right, That's what we'll, you need. We'll do that. World we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll, policy. We'll, we'll have a look there. Anyway, um, I think this is where YouTube comes in. I think um, anybody who's listening to any any sort of program where they just hear about chat should should mm. be using YouTube as well. Mm. And um, so this this is this is called Ostend Transit, and I, I think it's quite obviously a Marvin Gaye uh, influenced track, and. Um, that's not surprising because he, he he did spend quite a lot of time in in Ostend uh, for different reasons. So he, he he just spent a lot of time there and he t- he did perform there, and um, clearly people in Belgium no, know know his music pretty well. Jedi, I think you found some information about about the BBC World Service. Yes, I have, yes. Um, the actual World Service is owned by the BBC, of course. It wouldn't have BBC no, World Service right. at the beginning, yes. Yeah. But it's uh, funded by a um, what they call um, a grant in aid through the Foreign Commonwealth Office uh, by the British government. So, so, what, so what's your source exactly? You're reading this from the internet. Yep. So wh- where did the website come from? Wikipedia. The Wikipedia? Yep. Okay. So this is our information according to the Wikipedia? Yep. It is, yes. So it isn't funded by the taxpayer at the, directly at this time? It is funded by compulsory by the BBC licence fee. Ah. But uh, it's also done on, the, on a, a grant from the government. Okay. 
So it's a two-way thing, really. I don't know how, what is the percentage. No, so we'll have to investigate whether we can demand more music. Right. Well, that's 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 quite interesting. Right. Um, the other thing, last week you were you were telling me that um, we might be able to sort of borrow something from um, Front Row, the the um, program about because they had this interview with Bobby Womack. Yep. And uh, we wanted to use it. Yeah. And you thought, well, we could just sort of redo the questions, talk around it, re-edit it, and so forth. And well, that no, would be a well, way of... Um, well, you could suggest that you, you, you do the interviewing. Yes. And you still have Mr. Bobby Womack yes. answering them for you. Oh, right. So it's not the actual presenter no. on wherever, you, wherever it comes from. No. Uh, presenting it for you. Well, we, I, did, I did fill in the form. They've got a form um, on the BBC website saying is that a 50 page form is it no no it's a very short form <laughs> really? saying saying you know put your inqu- inquiry in all oh, right and um so i sent them an inquiry yeah and they sent back an email saying thank you very much yeah and we're looking at it <laughs> so <laughs> that means it gets filed in the big filing system yeah oh, well, good luck with that and i think you know it's, if you, we if we can do that, well, that we're allowed, that, what we're allowed to do you yes. just got to get permission to do these things i think yes well look i've got um I, I, I look further back on my hard drive, yeah, and I, I found um, I found a couple of, of, of tracks um, that b- might meet the bill, but I, I'm not sure whether you can can hear it all mm. uh, as I, as it's broadcast. So we may have to re-edit this again and do this next week. But um, this is like the the question would be something like um, Take my friend down. Bobby, how how would Sam Cook sing this song? For mighty good time. Drinking that good gin and liquor, and wine. But oh, just as soon as my money got low, now the way I heard that song, because sometimes the only way you can be the guy singing a song, and Sam was a hell of a singer and de- had to have a deliverance. Yeah. And me being like under him, much younger, to come back try to sing that same that that song the same way. Hey Amen. You might as well hang it up. Take it. The only thing you can do with that song is take it home and play it. So I figured I ain't gonna beat him singing the song. Yeah, so my way was. Once I live the life of a millionaire, spending my money, honey, you know I didn't care. Taking my friends out for a mighty good time. Drinking that good gin and liquor, champagne and wine. 